Hi, my name is Britton Hirschner. I'm an above ground product manager for OPW. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to replace several of the components on the 14E series nozzle. So, we're in a lab situation in a setting right now today, but uh, in all likelihood, when you're going to be replacing these components, you won't be. The nozzle will, I'm sure, will be uh, full of fuel, and, and special precautions will have to be taken, um, which we will not have to be, do with this brand new nozzle. So if performing this procedure in the field, you should be sure to always wear your proper PPE, at least eyewear and nitrile gloves, and safety barricade the work area. Remember, when using cutting tools, wear cut-proof gloves as well. You must depressurize, de-energize, and lock out, tag out the dispenser before beginning this work. Never work on a nozzle connected to a live dispenser. After tripping all the safety valves under the dispenser, test to be sure that no pressure remains in the hose and that all residual fuel has been drained. To do that on a 14E, you must actuate the actuator and pull the lever and uh, drain into an approved prover can to depressurize the line. To perform this work, we recommend non-sparking aviation snips if this work is being done on site. I'm going to use this pincer tool since I'm working where sparks are to concern. Also, you need a Phillips screwdriver, a T20 Torx screwdriver, and a small flat screwdriver. This is the spout replacement kit for the 14E. The part number is 5BE-0100. Included is an instruction manual, a spout, a replacement clamp, two spout O-rings, a retaining ring, and a long and a short spout screw. First, remove and discard the clamp. Remove the actuator subassembly from the four holding posts. A flat head screwdriver may be used to assist the removal if used carefully. Use caution not to damage the holding posts. If you are only replacing the actuator or scuff guard, you can do so now. With the actuator subassembly removed and set aside for reuse, Push the actuator adapter against the nozzle body and remove the retaining ring, discarding it. Remove the actuator adapter and the two push rods, which will fall out if the spout is pointed down. Remove the top torque screw and bottom Phillips screw. Remove the interlock guide. Gently rotate the spout from side to side as you pull it out of the nozzle body. Lubricate the O-rings. Install them into the spout adapter and gently push the new spout into the body pocket as you turn it from side to side until the holes from the spout adapter and interlock guide align with the holes in the nozzle body and install the new screws. Refer to the instruction manual for installation torque. With the spout securely mounted to the nozzle body, reinstall the push rods into each hole of the interlock guide. Give the nozzle a subtle shake if the push rods protrude out of the interlock guide. Push the actuator adapter down against the nozzle body to install the new retaining ring, snapping it into the groove on the interlock guide. Place the new clamp onto the actuator as shown. Slide the actuator onto the spout and onto the four holding posts with the curve of the actuator in the same direction of the curve of the spout. Orient the clamp with the ears to the top of the nozzle and over the four holes in the actuator as shown. Crimp the clamp securely in place. To test the actuator's function, engage the actuator and pull the lever. The lever should be opening the main poppet. Engage the hold open. Release the actuator and verify the nozzle shuts off. After completing the replacement procedure, a continuity check, leak check, flow check, 
and shutoff test must be performed according to PEI's recommended practices and the original installation manual which came with the nozzle and also can be found on our website for the 14E. Check with your local authority if there are any other additional tests which must be done in the jurisdiction where the work is being performed. Thanks for watching and if you'd like any more information on the 14E series of nozzles, please visit our website www.opwglobal.com or uh, any questions on the service of this nozzle, please contact tech support at the number shown below.